Absolutely. Silver fox. Hi. So, um, I just went out for a ride Sunday afternoon. I just thought I'd have a quick ride. I had no plan as to where I was going to go. And I only bought one camera, which is my Osmo Pocket, which I've got now, which is perfect for just like, I want to go out and take as minimum as possible. However, the stupid thing is, I forgot to charge it last time I used it. So, we haven't got much battery left. Hopefully we can get some, some good footage here. Um, I don't know where I am. I'm on the way to Pasakudang, I think. Or well, I may even be in Pasakudang, but uh, quite nice what I can see around me. A big lake, so I think we should have a walk around it as much as we can. Let's go that way, it looks like there's a path. So anyway, park with a lake, which is something we always love, and this one has fishing allowed, which is even better. Uh, these boys here that they're fishing on. This is nice, let's have a look. Let's have a quick uh, show you what we've got here. So you can see that behind me. It's pretty nice. It's about, I don't know, 20 minute ride from my house, maybe 15. Depends how fast you go, of course, of all these things, so it's not that far. Um, but a bit suspect about it coming out because the sky is looking dodgy and my telephone tells me it's thundery. So being prepared as I am, I've come in a t-shirt. So as usual, if it rains, we get wet. 99% of the time in Asia, in Malaysia, sorry, getting wet just means you get wet, it's not cold. But last a few times it rained, it was absolutely freezing. Luckily I wasn't out on the bike. But uh, when it rains here, you see, it doesn't, it's not like England, when it? So you imagine the worst storm you get in England, and then multiply it by four. That's a fairly average rainstorm here. The sky's just open and the whole world just falls out. That's a big, is that a sea eagle? I don't even get that because obviously I'm controlling it. You see that over there? This is one thing that um, maybe the Osmo Pocket isn't so good for. I'm just kind of pointing in a general direction. I think that might be a sea eagle. No, it's probably not. What do I know? It looks more. I think it could be. You have shit like that around these parts. Broken fence, not repaired. The people burning the deck this not sort of this is unfortunately a problem with Malaysia maintenance isn't a thing and simple stupid thuggery is um, which in that respect it's like the UK oh that's not true the UK health and safety crazy so the maintenance would get done but random acts of fucking hooliganism yeah for sure and the rubbish is the same hello ladies hello. how are you I'm good. So can you walk all the way around? Yes. All the way? Yes. Where am I? Is this Pasir Gudang or? You're still in Pasir Gudang, but you're still alone. Oh, okay. Where, where do you come from? Uh, Tamamolek. Oh, Tamamolek. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so Sorry, let's get you on. Do you want to be on camera? Okay, why not? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the southwest. So you'd be looking, if you looked on the map, you'd look for a place called Devon, or a ah. county called Devon. It's the most beautiful Near part. Plymouth. Yes. I was in Portsmouth. Oh, were you? Oh, yeah. I used to work in Southampton. I used to run a gym in Southampton. Oh. So fairly close. I see. Yeah. I was there in 2010. Cool. Till 2013. Do you like it? Apart from the weather? A lot. Apart from the weather? I love the weather. You yeah. like the cold? Yes. That's the one thing I'm never going back for. Oh. And you might find you. Oh. You have Instagram. You might find you. I do have Instagram. Um, what is it? That's a good question. I have to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know. Well, lovely to meet you both. All right. You have a good time. You're Take good. care, ladies. Bye. Bye. Beautiful ladies there. This is the thing about Malaysia, friendly people, you see. So we were talking and it looked like it was going to rain, but now it doesn't look like it is. So we're going to keep walking. They reckon it's about a 30 minute walk. So why not while well, the sun's still shining? Isn't that funny? So I was talking to those young ladies. I don't, uh, I wouldn't really concentrate on the camera. I don't think it's fair to talk to people and then sort of spend the whole time with worrying about where the camera is. Um, I wasn't there to interview them. That's not, we just had a general chat. It's nice. It's quite nice behind me. Usually in uh, Malaysia, you don't really see much of what I would call like a wood or a 
you know, what we in the UK would call a wood. Usually it's all palm plantations and stuff. So it's nice to see this. Anyway, it's quite funny. A lot of ladies there have been to Portsmouth, probably for university, I'm guessing. And she prefers the UK to Malaysia. And she felt safer walking away late at night in the UK than she does here. Whereas my feeling is completely the opposite. I'd rather be here and I feel walking around the, the, uh, Malaysia at, at night is much safer. So we get different examples, different experiences in life, I guess. Now, of course, this is the kind of place that you could bump into snakes. I think it's unlikely. I've, in my whole time being here, I've seen, I think, two snakes in the wild, maybe only one. Um, if we go to, to Thailand, I see lots more. Unfortunately, they're usually getting run over. I run over the hugest cobra just approaching the immigration point in my car from we'd been to grab him on our way back. And it's cr all the cars in front of me just suddenly started braking. It's that kind of thing, the void and swerving, you're like, couldn't see anything. Then right in front of me, there was this huge cobra it's flashing across the road. Unfortunately, I hit it, which depressed me terribly because I love snakes. But you know, that's life. So those ladies are walking around the park because they finish work, it's nice to go around, have a chat and just walk around the park. There isn't many places like this I've found yet in Johor. This is like, this is a, like a, you know, a proper, like a woodland walk rather than a, a straight boring park, is what I'm saying. Now, what kind of snakes could I bump into, you might be asking? Well, hopefully none because I don't really want to be cornered by a big snake here, but we have king cobras. The Malaysian king cobra is probably one of the most famous of all king cobras. Big, beautiful, stunningly beautiful snakes. I don't really fancy being where a king cobra and having it rear, rear up to its full height in front of me. I would frankly shit my pants. Because as much as I love snakes, I also respect them. Um, if I saw a big ass Python, that would be cool. I'm not so worried about pythons. Obviously, they're more just as likely to kill somebody, but I don't think getting that close. Now, as we see in all those old jungle films, one just to drop on my body suddenly and heighten around me, which doesn't happen in the real world. I mean, they can reach down and grab you and then start calling you, but anyway, just fall out of a tree. And that might be a bit uh, strange. Ah, it goes even further if I wanted to. Well, not today. But I think I'm definitely coming back here. So a lot less uh, water birds than I would expect to see. Well, I haven't seen any. I can hear birds, but I don't think any of many of the water birds. We did see the seagull earlier. Um, in the UK, that's what, something you'll get much more of is the birds. See, people wonder why I do vlogging and what my aims are. I'm not going to say my aims are not to get views because that would be like completely pointless. My aims are not to get subscribers because also that would be completely pointless. But my ultimate aim for, of me doing this is for me to get out on a day where I could just have easily sat in front of the computer and done nothing, is to get out and explore. And then when I see something interesting like this park, stop the bike and go and check it out, which is what we're doing. And this is really nice. I could probably bring my granddaughter here on her bike. She'd probably enjoy riding around in this. It'd be quite good fun. So, yeah, the idea isn't, I mean, don't get me wrong, to have thousands of subscribers clamoring to watch my every post would be fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. But if it means that I have to make a certain type of video to please certain people. You know, I don't want to make videos where it's got some like shock horror type headline or it's like, you know, where I, where I proudly proclaim that Malaysian food is the greatest food in the history of the world. And I don't feel that's true. And for those people that do, fine, but I think 
You've got to be true to yourself. I'm too old. I'm too cynical. I don't believe most people on YouTube. Too many people on YouTube are like, how can I get views? So they'll put like misleading, what they call clickbait titles. They'll put clickbait pictures. It's a very nice peaceful park. Sounds like a playground. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good. See? Everybody's malicious weapon. Not everybody, that's obviously a lie, but most people. Most people are fine. You have to be aware of media anywhere you live. I mean, I don't trust the media. And I certainly don't trust the like, the British or American governments, they're full of shit. Most governments, most media, have got some issues. But I know, people are people, people are good. And you've got to be on camera and you're going to do it. Yeah. Hit that like and subscribe button. Absolutely. Silver Fox, that loud.